Hello, I'm Dr. Shruti Desai and today I'll be telling you two methods of blood collection. First method is by skin prick and second is by venipuncture. To start with the skin prick, I'll tell you the instruments that we need. These are the instruments that we need for the skin prick method. This is a semi-automatic lancet. Then we also have this manual lancet but we don't use them anymore. But for showing purpose, I'll just show you. You have to be very careful if you're handling this. Then we have the spirit, cotton, syringe, we have these needles, these are called vacuum thinners. this is used for venipuncture method, this is glass slide, we also have this vacuum thinner holder, this is how it looks and it is very easy to use and the most important thing, gloves. Blood is collected for various reasons. It is for hematological, biochemical, serological and microbial culture. First I'll tell you about the finger prick method. Finger prick method, it is mainly used when we require small quantity of blood. For example, estimation of hemoglobin, RBC and WBC count. Uh, the site that we use for finger prick method is the tip of finger, ring finger. But if we want to collect blood in infants, we go mostly for thumb, great toe and uh, heel. In adults, we mostly use this ring finger because a synovial sheath is not continuous with the palmar aspect. So in case of infection, it cannot spread to rest of the hand. I'm telling you the procedure for finger print method. First, you have to perform hand hygiene. You have finger between two fingers and you have to support it with these two fingers to maintain a steady pressure. You have to apply a gentle pressure upwards to increase the blood flow like this, in this way. Then you have to clean that area with this spirit. And you have to like maintain it. You don't have to move this finger. It should be like this only. You have to clean this area and let it dry down. Then you have to pick your lancet and you have to do it with your other, your right hand. One hand you have to remove this. Then you have to give a bold pressure like this and ensure adequate amount of blood comes after puncturing this ring finger you have to discard the first drop because it can have some contamination or fluid after sufficient amount of blood is formed you can collect it for whatever purpose you need it for for example hemoglobin estimation wbc count or rbc count but remember one thing after puncturing you shouldn't apply more pressure or keep massaging massage should be done only once before the puncturing sign okay and one tip one deep puncture is less painful than two or three superficial punctures after your procedure is done, you have to remember to discard all these lancets, whatever lancets you are using, you have to discard it properly. 